Bootlegger Stash. Five and a green for an artifact with lands you control. Have tap. Create a treasure token. First looking at this card, I'm like, wow, this card is extremely strong. But then at first you have to realize the context in which it's strong. In a 60 card format, I don't think it's that strong. I could be wrong here. Maybe if there's like an artifact deck that can really ramp this out, but then also perhaps not fold as well to aggro or control, maybe it could be decent in a in a, in a deck. But the, also that means you're probably going to be going like heavy land ramp and in standard at the moment. I don't think that's going to be really possible. Most land ramps do cost three plus mana to do, and you're just not doing anything before that, right? Um, and people usually don't have too much too many ways to interact with, with treasure. But if they do, it's like, why don't they just destroy this stash, right? Um, maybe they're playing too slow, and you know, maybe you'd get the one up on them because your deck is just better at going slow. But I think that's like a far-fetched dream. You're like, like, there's control decks out here that's going to get you from from doing what you're probably what shenanigans you're doing with this. And I don't think it's going to be played in modern. I think it's going to be relatively decent at casual EDH slash multiplayer tables where there's a lot of interaction and you don't need to interact immediately with your opponents because you have others who are already interact with them. So I think the first use case is something along the lines of you're ramping and probably green and a green or large packaged artifact. Um, <laughs> I said that wrong. You're probably going to want to be ramping in green or ramping in a way where your deck has a bunch of artifacts and already ramp up to this. But then after thinking of that, if it's not a land-based ramp deck, you're probably going to end up having a bunch of rocks slash creatures that tap for mana, but you're only going to have a few lands. And if you have a few lands, this really isn't too good, right? Like if you have, say, three lands, all the rest are just like ramp sources um, that help you tap to pay for this. Like three lands per turn, at three mana per turn is okay for storing it. But then if you think of it in a, in a context of like a more competitive environment, or an environment where like, of course, things are being blown up constantly, um, things are happening. Like, 3 mana, and you're just storing 3 mana per turn? I don't think it's that good. I don't think it's that good. I could be wrong here, but I think this is just relatively slow compared to something like a Smothering Tithe, which is more of a stacks piece, where it stops people from playing the game, and if they don't, well, it's progressing your board state. Um, this doesn't quite do that, and so if they're faster than you, slash not not really interacting with you, they're probably on a, their own sort of plan, and probably going to be outpacing you, and probably even, like, surpass you, right, in regards to, like, their, their game strategy. I could be wrong here. I, I definitely could be wrong here, but I think six mana is a lot. And of course, one extra mana every time, and, I, and it, it gets progressively worse, right? Like like one mana is easier to get to two mana, and it's not even, it's, it's by like a long shot, right? Like there are a lot of times where like sometimes people have like these two land hands and then they stuck on two lands and then you can't play the third the third land, right? Because you have to draw into that. And you don't have like, you know, sometimes the stars don't line, right? And six mana is a lot. That's a lot. Um, for, for reference, you could be playing like a pretty much most planeswalkers at that point. Um, most planeswalkers at the moment, like interacting with things. Also, um, you're probably going to lose a lot of tempo with this because you're also tapping all of your mana to play this, <laughs> and then then you untap, and then maybe you can start making mana. Um, and not, not to bash this thing, either. I I think it's pretty good if you can ramp it up pretty fast. Assuming that you're going really fast, you're like turboing this out. Maybe you can make some mana. Um, and then also, the cool thing about this is you can also store a bunch of your mana. Like, this does help you create more mana, but also, unlike some artifacts that we've seen in prior uh, releases past, it's not bottlenecked by the art by the actual artifact that's helping you do this, right? Like, you create the mana from the lands, and even if they blow this up, like, the mana is still going to be there. I think there was an artifact like... It's, it's like... Um, I think something of Krufix, like Ar Artifact of Krufix, something like that, and it just stores up mana. Well, if they destroy it, well, your mana is going to be gone. Well, if they destroy this, your mana is going to be—it's going to be basically stored. It's—it's it's, for all intents and purposes, it's—it's it's a bootlegger stash, right? It's stash. So I think that's neat. I think that's—I think that's a cool thing. It's all like, got a lot going for. It, I would—I will say. And if you have, it gets better if you have more artifact synergies as well. Like just creating an artifact each turn, it's—it's it's pretty good. Pretty pretty freaking good. But of course, let me know what y'all think. Do you think this is too slow? I think it's a little too slow. Um, if it's, as long as you're playing in a lower slash high to lower power pod in like a multiplayer format, I think this could be okay. But other than that, I think it's too slow. But we'll see. Like we haven't seen Smothering Tithe in actual um, 60 card format deck. So I think this is probably going to fit that niche as well. 
um, just be good in multiplayer formats. But I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you playing it? Are you not playing it? Are you guys, have you found a way to, of course, use and abuse it? Uh, I know there are a few combos you can play with this that just go infinite, of course, but, you know, whatever. Magic has a lot of components to it. There's a lot of ways to go infinite everything. But let me know in the comments below. Catch you guys later.